speak to my right in the blue corner, trained by Paul Madigan at the Mad X Gym. Last night he weighed in at 61.4 kilograms. Hailing from Kashmir, he has had 16 fights. Wearing black shorts with silver trim, the gladiator, George Gruff. And now to my left in the red corner, trained by Mark Pease at the Strike Force Gym. Last night he came out 61.9 kilograms. Hailing from Ormeo, he's had 25 fights. Wearing a red shorts with silver and gold trim, Mighty Matt McTavish. And the results? Obvious in the ring. I don't think anyone's been disappointed with any of the fights tonight, and they just keep getting better and better and better. The crowd is absolutely loving it. As I said, this is the fifth instalment of eruption here at the Beale. Round number one. Bigger and bigger every year. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to fight number seven. Strike Force versus the Mad X Gym. Mighty Matt McTavish versus George Groff. And Mighty Matt McTavish, as he attempts to hang on and not take him down with the legs, he got his foot out of the George Groff as they tangle up in the neutral corner. Justin Gibbons pulls the fight at the part to start again. There's no time waste. They're not sizing each other up. They're going straight in to do what's got to be done. A bit of a slip there from George Groff. And both these guys, very experienced fighters. We've got Mighty Matt McTavish in 25 fights under his belt. From George Groff having been in the ring 16 times already. As much as he hasn't got the same fight experience, he has fought in Thailand and that certainly is a big thing. Uh, as you know, originating from Thailand, the Muay Thai sport, a very strong one, they take it very seriously over here. And to say that you fought in Thailand is a big thing. It's uh, a very good educator for these guys to go over and train in some of the camps over in Thailand. And of course, if they get the opportunity to fight over there as well, it is a big one on the experienced car. Right now, we are loud and live for eruption five in the ring. Mighty Matt McTavish, as the boys go to the ground, the referee pulls them up. It's just a slip as we continue the fighting here in round number one. Similar weight wise, these two fighters, Dave. 61.9 for Mighty Matt McTavish versus 61 flat for uh, George and Gladiator Groff. And a very similar reach advantage once again. And a similar sort of build, too, Mark. They're both boys looking like they're very evenly matched in all respects of this. I can't say we can give it to either fight in these early stages of the fight. Both guys looking very, very even. No, I think they're still building each other out a little bit, trying to find where they're going to be and uh, looking for each other's weaknesses. So far, I'm not seeing any weakness on either of their behalves. Very good fighters, both very focused. Mighty Matt and Kavish, uh, End of round number one. And George got over to the corner there for the final moments of round number one. The two. <laughs> Coming out with all guns blazing. Both looking for the opportunity to use the elbow. We're almost all the fighters there. That was fantastic. <laughs> this is scheduled for five two minute rounds under full time rules, which does include knees and elbows. And as you said, Mark, both guys will be looking for the opportunity to bring those elbows out very, very shortly. That's hungry for the win on this one. After the last time, uh, you know, going down to the clip of MTG, I know that he definitely wants the win tonight. Talking to him a little bit, he's certainly very focused. He's, uh, he's, he's coming out here and he's, uh, he, he wants the win. He wants the win. He comes from a fantastic uh, a gym, Strike Force gym, of course. This is their third fighter in the ring tonight here at Eruption 5. And of course, the fourth fighter he is part of the main event tonight. That's going to be over to TS2 Lee. And here we go. The guys are really starting to get serious. They're starting to exchange the punches and exchange the kicks. And once again, Matt McTavish ties up George Groff in the neutral corner. And Justin Gibbons separates the two boys. Matt McTavish uh, fighting out of the southpaw stance. That's with the right foot and the right hand forward. Whereas George Groff taking the natural stance. Once again, the boys get tied up on the ropes. We've seen a little bit of that in the first uh, few moments of this round. Waiting for the opportunity. A lot of hugging going on. And that's just, oh, in, and that's just in the commentary box. <laughs> that's just been good to see you. I haven't seen you for a while. 
I feel the same way, Dave. Eh? And there's the end of round two. Let's see if we go. End of round number two. End of round two. Mighty Magic Tavish, George Cross. Round number three. And the bell starts off round number three here. This is the seventh fight in the car here at the Beatley Arena. It is Eruption 5. And we've got Mighty Matt McTavish against George Roth in the ring as we speak. Mark and Mighty Matt McTavish starting to unleash a left hand elbow. And Justin Gibbons just caught the stop. Let's see how signifies for the fighters. It's a break. You go back to the middle of the ring. Mighty Matt McTavish, a telecommunications technician through the week. Up against uh, the Gladiator. A carpenter through the week. Needless to say, Gladiator's looking to nail this one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Mighty Mac McTavish out of the strike force table. Throws the left elbow there. Not causing too much effect there on George Rock. As the boys get tended up in the middle once again. Another one in there. There we go. The knee comes up and Mighty Mac McTavish goes for the elbow on the top of George Rock's head. There it is. Gladiator is definitely trying to deliver the elbow. That's the strike force corner. We've got Mark Bees and Mr. C in the corner. Getting Mark Matt McTavish to uh, work a little bit harder in this round number three at the Beatley Arena. Both boys uh, still fighting with a bit of gusto. They haven't shown any signs of slowing down. Just can. Give a jumping knee in the lead of the midsection there of George Rock by Mark Matt McTavish and Paul Rock. Also 
both of you are very determined. Both of them know it comes down to this round. Because so far, I've got to say, I believe it to be a fairly even fight all the way through. The first four rounds, very hard fight to pick between them. Is it possible we're going to see another draw? We are looking straight down the barrel of our third draw for the night here, Mark. You are absolutely correct. I think it's still a die time for these fighters. As Matt delivers a nice left hand in the face of George Brock. There it is again. That was a light. Another strong one. After five awesome rounds of Thai boxing, the judges of Canada scorecards recount them again. And we have a draw.